We rely on it to survive, but here in the Okanagan, we aren't very good at conserving our water. Water consumption in the valley is higher than many places across Canada, and it could put us in hot water in the future. Lauren Pullen explains why. You use it every day, but do you know where your water comes from? More where it goes after it goes down the drain, and do you care? We have clear scientific evidence from around the world that demonstrates that without question, climate change is not a hoax. Robert Sanford has been touted as the Winston Churchill of water, a world-renowned water expert and advisor. He was in the Okanagan sharing his thoughts on our local consumption and what it's doing to the environment, and it isn't good. But in the Okanagan, climate change is advancing at twice the global rate, so you need to attend to these issues. According to the Okanagan Basin Water Board, we use more water in the valley than the average in Canada. You need to look at what the trade-offs are. You know, are we going to have enough water for everything that we want, or are we going to uh, continue to have wasteful practices? Now, not everyone believes climate change exists. A lot of it's a hoax. It's a hoax. I mean, it's a money-making industry, okay? It's a hoax. But Sanford believes if we continue our wasteful ways... Extreme temperatures are going to rise which could have considerable impact on water levels, evaporation, and also on vegetative change and fires. Believe it or not, you can still be conscientious and conserve. People can do it without pain. They can do it by celebrating the natural, dry, sunny qualities of the Okanagan. And people at this Water Talk are listening. I'm very concerned with water. I think it's uh, valuable to get more information on the water that's in your area and your environment. Because we all depend on water and it's important for us to care about our water and what's happening to it and where it's coming from and where it's going. Well, Sanford says we definitely have major work to do, it isn't too late. This is a place for which I have great hope. And what needs to be done, however, is you need to act on that hope in a realistic and responsible way. And you need to see the urgency now. Starting with each person being a bit more vigilant about how they use their water. Lauren Pullen, Global News, Penticton.